Tis the season to get snotty. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> I can't put a hat on with one hand. <laughs> Again, welcome back to Vixen Media Rex and another weekly vlog. I hope you're well. Um, I've got a busy, busy old week this week and I'm quite excited for it. I've got two Bumble events at the weekend and I've got loads of stuff to keep you busy during the week um, to sort of make sure that I can have a little bit of time off over Christmas like all the normal folk and yeah, very excited. I feel like it's sort of coming to the end of this year and we're sort of winding down now even though it's still a bit busy until then. And I'm seeing uh, Lucy and Rosie and Hot Tub Lizzie on Friday for Pan which I'm really really excited about um because I bloody love panto so yeah come along with me for the week <laughs> so we get to open day three of the calendar from love cases oh oh fail um yesterday was this adorable I don't think I showed you actually is this a dot look at all that washing up oh my god it's adorable little um Christmas decoration but it doesn't quite go with my tree so I've pop it I popped it there it's really cute let's see what this one is I've got a feeling it might be another phone case Oh, this is quite fancy. I've never had one of these before. A little flip case with places for your cards, are they? Oh yes, you can put your cards in there. That would be handy on a night out, wouldn't it? To take your phone in that, and then you've got everything that you need in there with your phone. And yeah, oh, that's quite fancy actually. I quite like that. My little munchkin. <laughs> I never get tired of seeing your little tail wag as soon as I talk to you. You are very cute. <laughs> You're very cute. Say hello to the internet. God, look how big your nose is. What are you sniffing? It's a cup of tea. You can't have that. You know what happened the last time you had tea? Cost mummy a fortune and lots of worry. That was that was what happened. <laughs> it's like, I don't care. You know what the vet said the other day about you? You know what the vet said the other day? It says it's nearly time for the snip. It is. We'll chop them off. Chop them off. Oh dear. Maybe we'll do it after Christmas, hey? You can keep your balls for Christmas, but then we chop them off. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> In other news, how cute are these PJs? They look like my ones from Next that I got all those years ago. Um, but they're actually from Primark and they're only £8 and I get them um, in a size 14 to 16 or large or whatever the large is um, so they're nice and big and baggy but I love them I absolutely love them they probably won't last that long because they're Primark but they're really soft um, yeah I just really like them although I think for Christmas I'm going to treat myself or ask mum and dad pop it on the Christmas list um, for another pair of those brushed ones from next because they're just so good and I've had those other ones for like two years <laughs> and they're still just as cosy as they were when I bought them so even though they're 25 quid I think I probably end up spending equivalent in Primark ones just to replace them every now and again. So yeah, but these are pretty and they've got like, it's like a little woodland scene, they're cute, I like them. Oh look what just arrived, a little Christmas tree for Toby. If this is what I think it is, it is his favourite shampoo that we always use. Oh it's amazing guys, if you um have a dog and you want to treat them to some nice products for Christmas, oh my god seriously these are so good. He absolutely loves this shampoo and so do I. It smells like Cherry Bakewell. It's incredible. So we've got the shampoo, conditioner and a leave-in conditioning spray. Ah, amazing. Thank you so much guys. That is going in his Christmas stocking. Don't look. It's for Christmas. <laughs> Hey team, so it's currently about five o'clock. Um, I've just come back. I went out to pay in a check to the bank. Who sends checks? It was for like a refund on my car tax from when I changed the cars over. I got a whole £12.50 back. Thanks. Um, and I just popped into Aldi to see if I could find some of the matching dog Christmas jumpers and human jumpers, and I couldn't. But I did get myself a nice Christmas jumper that was pretty cheap, actually. It was like £9 for Christmas Day. And a little bed for Toby, which he is currently sucking on. I don't think he's chewing it, I think he's sucking on it. Uh, and then they had that Christmas jumpers from Pets at Home, it was like £9, so I was like, do you know what? I'm getting it him, because he's so bloody cute. Oh, and I also picked up that from Aldi. Let me see, sorry, I can't show you. See the little stag over there? Uh, pointing backwards there. £3! So I am still editing, still working, and yeah, feeling okay, better for going outside, even though it was a bit slippy on the pavements, but yeah, quite a good day, quite a good day so far. A little bit of a boring one, but a necessity to kind of crack on my stuff. Look at my hair, it really needs washing. 
And yes, my hair really does need washing, but I'm just shoving hats on it all the time at the moment so it can go another day. <laughs> I think my super speedy internet has been updated because it's only going to take 23 minutes to do the vlog this week. That is bloody good. Hey team, um, it's probably later than it should be, I should be in bed. I don't know why I got into the habit of actually doing this, but I started to watch a few of my old videos, like a few of my old vlogs. Oh, I know why, because I'm going to be doing a, a little um, compilation video. But um, I was watching some of the old vlogs and it's just made me really sad actually. Not to, not for this to be like a super sad ooh, but it's genuinely made me realise just how much I've kind of lost myself over this year, steadily as the year's gone on. Um, and I guess I didn't really want to admit it to myself how much my depression had actually robbed me of me. But it actually has. Like, I'm just, I'm watching my birthday vlog and I'm watching vlogs from before then and genuinely I, uh, as I'm watching it, I feel like I'm watching a different person and that feels really bad. It feels really sad because I'm not, I'm watching me. Oh, I'm also supposed to be watching a documentary on the Blitz, which has just uh, played itself because I've had it paused for so long. Um, but it just, it's made me a little bit sad because genuinely, I just, I I feel like I am a completely different person, but not in a good way. Like, I want to I wanna be this person again. I want to be this happy person again. This confident, happy person again. And I'm just not her at the moment. It's actually made me really sad. Really sad. I can see you. The internet can see you. Get off there. <laughs> Get off. Dude, just stare at me. Oh, you're in your teenage years. Off. Come here. Naughty. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I am so full of cold. It's ridiculous. I feel like it's finally caught with me. I've just had, like, one threatening for weeks. And uh, it's officially <laughs> snotty nose central around here now. So, um, yeah. Oh well, never mind, we'll survive. Um, so today, loads of editing again. It's nice blue skies again. So uh, I'm gonna take Toby out. This lip is still really bad. I can't help, it's like the weather makes it crack and then I keep biting it, which is really bad. I shouldn't do that, I need to stop doing that. Um, but I'm gonna take Toby out in the snow because he really, really likes it and it'll be nice for me to get outside as well. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, Ooh, just editing. Um, and lots of lem sips. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Tis the season to get snotty. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> I love the fact that you love wearing jumpers. <laughs> he literally comes up to me and sits down every time he sees me picking one up. Is it because you like to be cosy and warm? Or are you just a fashionista dog? <laughs> I think he just really likes to be warm. He's sleeping on me just now and he's dribbled on my leg. You dribbled on my leg. You're disgusting. Oh, don't sniff those. They're stinky. Just had my shopping delivered. Um, we don't use bags because there's just no point. Um, so that's why it's like all over the side. But I thought I'd do a quick haul if, you were, if you're interested. Kitty roll, toilet roll, batteries for fairy lights, microwave rice, sweet potato, soy milk, pesto, oh, Heinz tomato soup, chicken noodle soup, fancy mince pies, Jacob's crackers, more soy milk, bread, mayonnaise, peanut butter, crunchy, more microwave rice, I'll put two in there, but there you go. Um, ginger, golden delicious apples, oranges, Ghost cheese and pesto tortellini. Dog oven calendar, that's not part of the shop. Um, pate, Brussels pate and duck liver pate, because, you know, Christmas. Uh, some cooked chicken for Toby and his poorly belly. Somerset brie, fish cakes. Melt in the middle smoked haddock with cheddar and leek fish cakes. Fancy. Carrots, frozen pizza, lemon, frozen vegetables and salad. Boom. <laughs> Having a ginger shot and an apple <laughs> to try and shake away this cold. Oh feel pretty grim but the weather is still quite nice outside so i kind of also want to go out i'm just going to wrap up super warm and i promise i'll wash my hair at some point this week <laughs> it's really bad but it's good for it to sometimes let it do this isn't it natural oils and that that's what we're going with are you ready for the snow <laughs> with your new jacket and your scarf are you ready for oh my god you're so cute and i am so sad i'm such a sad dog lady but I don't even care. 
You are so cute, mate. <laughs> You're very cute. I like your coat. <laughs> so Toby, it was just digging in this now, I wondered what for. He's found the carrot, which must have been the nose of a snowman. <sighs> okay, you like carrots, you can have that. Poor snowman. <laughs> I think he's making friends. <laughs> was that pony following you? Is he following you? <laughs> He's got a jacket on too. <laughs> you got your stick. I think that was a snowman's arm. We should probably give it back to Mr. Snowman. We've already eaten his nose. Do you want to throw it? Ready. Ready. Oh, that was rubbish. <laughs> Mummy isn't very good at throwing sticks, is she? <laughs> Can't beat a warm bowl of chicken noodle soup when it's really, really cold outside. I have to say, these Sainsbury's taste the difference. Um, short bread mince pies infused with brandy are pretty delicious. Now, I like to normally make my own mince pies and I make an awesome um, bake one mince pie with frangipan in as well. But these are pretty good and nice and easy. Um, so I've got them with a cup of hot water. Does everybody else drink hot water or is it just me? <laughs> um, I'm gonna sit down and maybe watch a Christmas film tonight because I'm feeling rotten, I'm not gonna lie. I've washed my hair though, which is a start. But yeah, look at my poor little eyes and my little sniffly nose. Um, yeah, I feel pretty crap. <coughs> and I think I've got a water infection coming as well, which would just top it off really, wouldn't it? So um, yeah, I'm staying wrapped up warm tonight in front of the TV and uh, just trying to get a little bit better. So, probably chat to you guys tomorrow. Morning everybody, happy Wednesday. I'm having porridge for breakfast today. I haven't had porridge in ages, but I kind of felt like it was super cold outside, so I need a warm breakfast. Um, yeah, I'm still full of cold. Very snotty. <laughs> Tis the season. Um, yeah, I managed to get a doctor's appointment today, which is really good. Oh my god, look how ill I look. Oh, uh, I managed to get a doctor's appointment for my water infection, which has um, blossomed wonderfully. Um, and also to have a chat about uh, getting more of my tablets. Um, it's not my usual doctor, which I'm a little bit worried about. It was a doctor that I actually had a bad experience with earlier on this year. Um, she just, she was very, she was quite judgy about something. And it um, it really put me off going to see her, so I've been avoiding her ever since, and I've found, since found a doctor, a GP that I really like. Um, but she has no appointments, and nobody else has any appointments. The only one left is this other GP. So I'm a little bit anxious about going today, especially because of the nature of what the visit is, like um, mental health and stuff. But um, I'm gonna go with an open mind, try not to feel too anxious about it and hopefully she'll listen and we can um, figure out what we're gonna do, whether that is sort of reduce the dosage a little bit, um, reduce the dosage a lot, or completely come off them. So we shall see. I just feel like they're turning me into a bit of a zombie, if I'm honest. I'm tired all the time. Like, it doesn't matter how many hours sleep I get. I could have three hours or nine hours, and I'm still absolutely exhausted. I feel like it's almost stifling my creativity a little bit. Like, I sit down to work, and my mind just goes blank. And, yeah, it's, it's difficult. And I'm also putting on weight, um, which could be the food I'm eating, to be fair. But, um... I, I just feel like it's sort of, I, I feel very bloated all the time, like water weighty kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I just don't, I just, at the minute I just don't feel like they're quite right. Um, I don't know if I'm completely ready to come off them all together. Um, but then at the same time, sometimes I feel like maybe I am and maybe it's time to just sort of try and face things on my own now. The balance has been restored a little bit chemically. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have a chat to the doctors today and see what they say. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of an update for you. And my back is so twingy today. I think it's the walking in the snow and stuff because it's so cold outside. 
So I'm filling up my little water bottle <laughs> and I'm gonna prop myself up and answer some of your comments on YouTube uh, while I eat my porridge. <laughs> Right, so I'm off to the doctors in my rather festive hat that I picked up from Aldi the other day. It was like super cheap as well, so I just thought I'd have it. Um, because I do love a good hat and I wear them a lot when I dog walk, so I like to swatch I can't put a hat on with one hand. <laughs> oh, that was a long uh, <laughs> a long wait for my doctor's appointment. Uh time of year I think. Um so yeah, I had a chat to the doctor. She wasn't she was very nice actually. Um completely different to the last time I saw her. I'm not sure if she remembered me, but um, yeah, it was just it was just really bad the last time I saw her. Anyway, um, we've decided to go down on my Satilopram. So I'm on 30 milligrams at the moment. We're gonna do two weeks on 20. And then if I feel able, two weeks on 10. And then two weeks off everything. And then she's given me another, um, brand to try if I feel like I need it so who knows we could just still be on 10 we could we could be on uh, we could go down to 20 could be on could stay on 10 could not be on them at all uh, or could try some new ones so I'm up for trying anything I'm you know I've been honest with all that on this channel um I'd rather not be on them if I'm completely honest I would kind of want to start the new year okay <laughs> so I can put all of this behind me but it's a medical problem at the moment so it's just something that we're dealing with not winning any points for style but you cannot beat a bowl of Heinz cream of tomato soup and white bread to dip in oh I'm so looking forward to this Rightio, it's 7 p.m. and I have officially finished my work for the day and I'm just making my dinner I found these pretty awesome looking um haddock and cheddar cheese and leek melty middle fish cake things and they sound amazing and they're on offer so i bought them and i'm just having them with some rice and vegetables from the freezer and i've also got some um leftover roasted butternut squash that i did the other day so i'm gonna add that in for some extra veggies really looking forward to it actually it smells good it's pretty healthy i've eaten really well today i had a mince pie but you know calories in mince pies for December don't count so that's all right uh yeah and then I'm gonna settle down and watch a bit of telly I think maybe watch The Apprentice might even paint my nails because I've been needing to do this for ages and I've just not got around to it Toby is sniffing around the oven for these fish cakes oh my goodness the snow's back it's really coming down pretty it makes everything look so bright, doesn't it, when there's snow on the floor? Because it's actually pitch black, it's like half past eight, but it looks lighter than it did earlier. Look at those big snowflakes, they're huge. Well, it looks like we're going to be snowed in tomorrow. That's it. Wait. Um, wait. Go on then. <laughs> <sighs> Morning everybody. The uh, snow seems to have melted pretty much already. Um, so that was short lived. It must have rained overnight. Um, and it's beautiful blue skies, which is quite nice. So today I may be filming a video, but I also have quite a lot to do for my Bumble event, which is tomorrow morning, very exciting. And I've got a few bits and bobs to finish organizing for that. A few things to pick up, ready to go there, sort the goodie bags out. Um, what else? Got loads of other stuff, like niggly stuff to do today as well. But um, if I can, I'm also gonna be filming a video, thinking of doing like an autumn winter favorites. I don't know, cause I've got quite a few products that I've been liking. Haven't got enough, I don't use enough new ones to do one every month like I used to, but I've kind of like built a few to kind of make a decent video. So that's the plan, I'm gonna film one of those. Um, but I think that's gonna involve washing hair. Do you ever do that? Do you ever wash your hair and then go to bed and then wake up the next morning and it's greasy as hell? You're like, why did I bother? Why did I bother? Got Sicilian mousse in the advent calendar today. Very much enjoying this Thornton's advent calendar. I feel like I need to get a box of continentals. Yeah, it's nice. Um, sad news, Rosie's had to cancel Panto tomorrow and I'm absolutely good to because she was going to come over and she's going to see Toby again and stay over and we're going to drink wine and go to Panto. So yeah, that sucks. But uh, it means I've got an extra space on girls' night, so I'm gonna go and invite some people <laughs> and see if they wanna join us. It'll still be me 
Lizzie and Lucy um, and someone else. But yeah, I was gutted. I was really hoping to see Rosie before Christmas. Never mind. Life gets in the way sometimes. This I love. It's just dropped through the door from Benefit. It's a limited edition um, face palette. But look at this. Let's see if I can open it. I need to get better at opening things with one hand. Look, it's got Boing 1 and 2. Hula Light and the normal Hula, and then it's got your What's Up highlighter and also um, Dandelion highlighter, so you can literally do your contour highlight and conceal, and it's got a little mirror in it. I like this, and look how slim it is. That is perfect for your handbag. <gasps> Guys, really like this. I'm not a massive fan normally of um, kind of like mini kits like this that you kind of get around Christmas time so just think if you like the products buy the big size one but that is actually really really good pretty Christmas nails I found this um design on Pinterest and I thought you know what I'm gonna do that because I was just gonna do plain ones but they're all a little bit different and I thought yeah they're pretty and then I've got my um plain red wine and rose gold um ombre glitter on my toes which are disgusting feet are horrible aren't they what do you think toby do you like it you're a nightmare the whole way through thanks for that so i'm a little bit gutted um i'm doing a collaboration with benefit in the new year on their instagram which is very exciting um but i have just taken all the photos for it sent them over and they were like ah yeah we may have um not explained the brief properly because they're all wrong <laughs> So I've got to do them all again, which I'm absolutely gutted about because I was really pleased with them. But um, yeah, a little bit of a miscommunication there. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Hopefully the sun will stay out for a little bit longer so we've got some good natural light and he might um, just settle down for a bit so I can sort of crack on. Yes, <laughs> frustrating, but uh, it is what it is. Quarter past four, pitch black. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and wash my hair, get ready for the event tomorrow, and then I'm meeting Lucy in town for a festive hot chocolate, um, and she's gonna do a little bit of Christmas shopping, and I'm just gonna potter around with her, because I just feel like I need some human interaction today. So we're getting ourselves out of the house. Oh, look at this. It's gonna wait, we're gonna, just made it. Oh yeah, mint hot chocolate. And that's a billionaire's one, that looks like calorie central it's amazing holy diabetes holy diabetes batman me and lucy were just discussing um how many chicken bakes do you think you can eat in one sitting we think realistically about three could we do four or no four's a bit excessive yeah. see yeah. that's filled me up after a few years i'm feeling a bit full now we just had it? one because we both like love chicken bakes never had them so we just walked past there were two left so it was fate and now having a hot chocolate diet starts tomorrow no it doesn't morning everybody so i've had a bit of a disaster today it's the um it's my second bumble event and i've got my business brunch at harvey nicks and i've woken up on my back it's just absolutely screwed i can barely stand up it keeps spasming it's really bad i don't know what's happened i think it's because i did a lot of walking yesterday to and from town and with toby and stuff but it's really really bad um, but I can't not go, like I, I, it's my event, I have to go, I have to be there. I've got all the goodie bags set up in this really heavy bloody um, box. I've got a cart from my car in the mailbox up to Harvey Nichols. I think I'm just gonna have to phone them on the way and just be like, is there any way you can send somebody down to the car park to help me carry this box? I don't want to sound like a pathetic person. <laughs> Where are you? Up it. Um, but I, I don't think I can lift it. I've got to put it in my car and I've just tried to lift it. I can barely even stand up straight. I'm doing my old hobbly thing again. <sighs> I'm buggered. Actually buggered. It's just a lift. It's not heavy. Hip hip hooray, everything was a complete success. I had a great time, everybody loved it again. It was so nice to see some familiar faces from the last event too. It was just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I got to meet um, some subscribers and followers as well that hadn't been able to make it to the last one. Oh, it was just awesome, absolutely loved it. And Harvey Next can put on a brunch, let me tell you that. I had some amazing smashed avocado on toast. Delicious. And of course, complimentary glass of Prosecco and good coffee, really good coffee actually. I had a nice flat white, loved it. Anyway, had a great time. Um, so I am crawling back home now um, in the traffic. Um, to go home and continue with work. I have a few things to do ahead of my 
my job tomorrow is Sophology. Uh, I need to go through my photos from today and pop all those up on Instagram. And what else? Balloons. <laughs> I need to get some balloons for Sunday's event. Loads of little bits and bobs to do. So yeah, Lucy's taking Toby out for a nice little walk, which is very, very nice. And at some point I need to do something with my hair and face before we go out tonight because I kind of want to get a bit dolled up. I'm excited for Panto. There's no Rudolph <gasps> This is my favorite song ever! The yeah. Christmas song! This was on the film earlier. I was like, why is this video? It's so short though. What is it? It's all over. Yeah, Christmas is Home Alone 2. Yeah, Home Alone 2. Yeah. I only saw Home Alone for the first time last year. Once again, dark, I'm writing you a letter and I don't know where to start. I'm in a car full of festive maniacs. We all need to practice our he's behind you and boos and hisses. And what else is there? He's behind you. Oh no, he isn't. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so excited. Stick another glass in. You can fit another glass in there. You can't fit another. <laughs> Don't stick another. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. So you will notice that I'm still at home instead of being uh, at Sophology picking my new sofa. And that is because my back has really seriously gone. Today, it's a million times worse than yesterday. <sighs> Tablets just aren't helping. And yeah, there is no way I was going to make the uh, hour and a half drive it would take to get there. So yeah, feeling pretty crap if I'm honest. I um. It, I've moved it till tomorrow, so I'm hoping that if I just saw oh, Toby, he's gonna have me up and down. Um, I'm hoping that if it gets a little bit better, if I just sort of rest it today, I'll still be able to go tomorrow. But oh, just feel it. I'm in so much pain, like it makes me feel a bit sick. It's that painful. And I've had all my tablets, and they're just not really doing a lot. So yeah. Not good. In other news though, Panto was just bloody brilliant. I absolutely love Panto at the region. I feel like this year they went a little bit, they had 3D stuff and a flying carpet and I don't know, I kind of, I, it was great and it was funny, but there was a little part of me that was like, do you know what region, you don't need that. You're not the Hippodrome. You, you, the reason why I go watch you every year is because you are rubbish. <laughs> and that's what makes it so great with Panto. So I feel like they did these things, maybe to try and sort of keep up with the other Pantos that have um, got all these like super fancy bits, but I just don't think they needed it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna sit and write uh, my review for that, I think, today. Keep my brain busy before I slip slowly into madness just watching daytime TV. Not even any daytime TV, it's, sun it's Saturday. Morning everybody, happy Sunday. Things are still bad on the back front. I haven't even had to get in the shower to wash my hair. I just feel an absolute mess, but I have to go um, to Sophology and do this job. So yeah, wish me luck that I don't crash and die on the way. Uh, I'm very excited though. I'm actually excited to go and pick my new sofa, so. Wish me luck, and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. And I've got my Bumble event later, but luckily Lucy and Sam are coming along with me, so they can help me carry everything. <laughs> what a nightmare, I was so looking forward to this weekend. And now my bloody back has ruined it, but never mind, I have my hot water bottle, like a high functioning adult. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll all work out in the end once the drugs kick in. I literally think I am in heaven right now. I get my pick of the sofa. And great news, I didn't crash and die on the way. And my drugs are starting to kick in now, so uh, I'm a little bit better, but <laughs> at least I'm in the best place where I can sit down on all these comfy sofas all day. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, that was very exciting. I think I've chosen the one that I want. I just need to run it past the PR lady tomorrow to see if we can get that ordered. I think they're gonna take about seven to nine weeks, which sucks. I want it now, but that's the world of sofas, I guess. Um, there are so many really nice ones, and the team was so nice. I love Sophology. I'm like just a massive fan of them, just because that really great experience I had at first, and then I've just gone in there, and they've just been exactly the same, and so friendly, and they're not pushy at all. Like, they haven't got any salesmen or women in there, so they don't push you, and they don't make you feel um, pressured in any way, which I really like, because it's a, bit, a lot of money. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited for that, and I'm excited to show you guys which one I've picked. 
Uh, but now I'm just currently trying to get out of the car park, <laughs> which is chock-a-block, uh, and I'm gonna head home. And I think I've got about half an hour to an hour before then I need to head over to Birmingham for my Bumble event. My back is killing me. I'm a little bit worried actually, because I've taken stronger stuff than I did yesterday and it hasn't helped. So yeah, I think I'm due another dose in about an hour. So I'm gonna dose myself up and just hope we can get there. Um, Lucy's gonna drive me, which is amazing, so I don't have to go on the train. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna miss out on my eyebrow appointment at Benefit, but hopefully I can rebook in before Christmas another day. <sighs> I'm also starving, need to get some lunch, bloody hell. It's been a busy Sunday, a busy old Sunday. Yes! <laughs> That's how you do it. Look who it is, everybody. It's Daryl Dazzle Morgan. It's been a year since we last met. Yes, it's been a very long, long time. Very long time. Last time at Old Towers. Don't forget to check out the vlog that I did on the Hunting Yes! Oh, you just got a strike! Well done. Oh, it best be a strike down. Well, if it's for me. That was really good fun. I got home, I've taken my makeup off straight away, and I'm gonna go and put my PJs on and snuggle up in front of the TV with this little man who, for some reason, has taken apart his bed and is chewing it. Normal. Um, yeah, I had a really good night tonight, so thank you everybody who came. I hope you enjoyed it. Just had a good few games of bowling, some nachos, some drinks, and it was just really nice. Really, really nice. Great way to round off the Bumble events for the year. Um, Right, so it's Sunday, Sunday evening, which means I'm gonna edit this tomorrow, but this time next week is Christmas Eve. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? So that means that uh, this time next week tomorrow is Christmas Day. So Monday is a Christmas, and Monday is when I normally edit the vlogs. So what I'm gonna do with the vlogs over the Christmas period, I think, I really want to vlog because I want it for me and because it's Toby's first Christmas <laughs> and I just kind of want the memories just so like even if it's not necessarily the Christmas I would choose for myself right now I can look back on it next year so I do want to film some stuff but I don't think it's going to be sort of a regimented Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday job I think what I'll probably do if it's okay by you is uh, film when I've got something to film over the next couple of weeks over the Christmas and New Year season and then um, put it together in some form of video for you guys to watch um, Yeah, so I don't feel like I have to film every day. I'll just film when there's stuff going on or something that I want to say um, And then there's no pressure and I can still switch off and enjoy because I'm looking forward to having some time off mentally and Physically from work because this past month or two has been really really busy, which is great, but I'm ready for a break now. So um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and New Year and you spend lots of time with your family and your friends and your loved ones and you eat whatever you want to eat and you drink whatever you want to drink and you get everything you wished for on Christmas Day and you just have a wonderful, wonderful time uh, and you relax and switch off from work because I'm doing that. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly what date or what it's going to contain but I will see you when I next see you, um, and that might be next year, goodness me. Let's not say next year, let's just, let's play it by ear. But yeah, have a wonderful Christmas, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! What filter have you got this camera on? Because you don't, you don't look this good in real life. <laughs> it's actually full on snowing now. It's cold.